popping, y'all? This is Deidre with One Shot Game, man. You already know how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to learn everything you can to help, you know what I'm saying, change your life in a different direction. Don't nobody know everything, but you can gain as you go. You know what I'm saying? So listen, before I get into the title of my video, I want to say a big shout out to all my supporters. You guys are great. They think they going to try to stop me, man. Listen, they think they're going to get me to be quiet. They think they're going to get me to stop. They think they're going to get me to adjust to how life was. I'm not going. I'm not doing it. It just ain't going to happen. It's an everyday hunger process to be able to keep chasing yourself into the destination you're trying to go or drown yourself in where you've always been. Understand and realize that every time I make a video, man, it's the energy and the hunger I have inside of myself to understand that at the end of the day, you getting to know who you are is the best feeling in the world for anybody. Never give up. Never stop. You have to always realize that life is a battle of people trying to stop you. You know what I'm saying? There'll be people like, oftentimes that'll help you grow, but you got to wait sometimes. You might not start off in a certain, you feel me, way where people support you and people have your back, especially if they're used to a certain way of life. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have your own back. You got to go for what you want. You got to keep climbing. You can't be stopped by the opposition. Every single thing that happens in your life plays a part on your mind ever thought about you feel me psychological torture meaning it is things that people do to f with your mind to get you to think that you ain't as powerful or as strong as you are to be able to correct create the life you want for yourself you know what i'm saying and if they can't target you they start going after everything you love that's real that's not fake that's the truth that's how life operates that's what's not being told to us you know what i'm saying People don't even be realizing, man, how strong the opposition could be. You got to be stronger than it. You got to be stronger than it, which means you build who you are up every day. You feel me? Life will tell you what you need and what you don't need. Life will warn you, hey, that's not something you should be doing. And then it'll also let you know, okay, cool. You keep doing what you're doing. I got your back. But are you strong enough to keep doing it? Or are you going to let the opposition stop you from doing it? It's certain things that be happening in life, baby, that'll just try to throw you off your horse, straight onto the ground. You got bumps and bruises now. You scared of the horse. You don't even want to get back on. <laughs> Fuck that. Excuse my language. Not today, not tomorrow, not in lifetimes after. This is what it is. You feel me? Breaking barriers is the hardest thing ever. I don't care how hard you are, how strong you are. If you can't mentally break barriers and get out of the confines of your own mind, you are not strong enough as you present yourself to be. It's all a fraud. It's fake. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's where you become the strongest. When you have the ability to fight the confines of your mind, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy. Again, uh, truth is, only the strong definitely will survive. And it's not to shade the weak. It's not to put down the people less capable. It's just that they let their mind win. They let their dark side overcome them. And they can't stand the test of time for the battle. Ooh, they trying to mess with me. <coughs> you feel me? So you have to keep going. You have to keep striving for what it is that you know you've been listening to the signs that pointed you in the direction you tried to go. People will hate, people will throw salt, people will sugarcoat. And understand and realize that oftentimes, spiritually, those people are probably, man, happy as hell for you. But physically, they're still trapped in a certain way of life. So they don't have the ability to show you that on a physical level. But on a spiritual level, they are damn show happy that someone has finally been able to break the barriers and the confines of their mind to live a free version of being themselves and i'm not talking about the version that people present to you every day i'm talking about the version of themselves that is content and peaceful behind closed doors when person is behind closed doors you don't know exactly what they're battling or what they're going through you don't know the storm 
that or the war that they're having in their mind. You don't understand how come some people are just extremely quiet. You're not realizing why people don't want to smile today. You're not understanding the battle and the war that's going on in their head. Listen, I, that's why I really respect so much of who I am to be able to climb through that war with the, the Mac, the, the Nina and the Tommies coming aiming for me that I to be able to overcome that. You feel me? I demand absolute straight peace. Straight up. If you're not bringing that into my life, I cannot. I cannot. Because, listen, those bullets coming from those nines, those Max, those Ninas, those AKs, they're strong. You know what I'm saying? And granted, I may have looked like I was going down at one point, and I probably was. I put on the armor needed, made my own, and went through the fire. But then bullets pierced me, and I it, it made me in a certain type of way to where some days it's not good days. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but it's the ability to understand that you don't have to. You feel me sitting that? <laughs> you don't let it overcome you, man. You know what I'm saying? The joy is realizing that on the other side of that bridge, when you get through it, you know what I'm saying? It's the best feeling in the world. I have not let up. If anything, my content has grown stronger, but it identified with the first version of myself because a lot of people's energy is still stuck in that. A lot of people's energy are still stuck in the old ways of who I was that those videos got heck of views. But this new version is kind of like, oh shit, we don't know how to identify with it yet. But that is the battle. That is the test. That means don't quit. Don't give up. You going in the right direction, but do you have the ability to keep going or are you going to stop? People going to talk about you regardless. You can't make everybody happy. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Spiritually, people will never be able to understand or come up against who you are if they haven't done the work. Now, physically, they may aim and make it seem like they this, they that, but, but spiritually, come on now. Let's not, we're not going to play that battle, right? Right. Because people know what's really going on. It's really a war. You know what I'm saying? And the people that are winning are the ones that are having the ability to handle the war inside themselves. You got to think about how oftentimes people just are, are let off like loose cannons in the world. Not being able to handle the war within themselves. So they create a war outside of them. Everything they get involved in, everything they touch is mass destruction. That's because you're in a war inside your head and you're not having the ability to understand or be wise enough to understand listen i can get out of this war in my head but i need to get out of my own way first if i don't know how to do that i'm gonna stay stuck and i'm gonna keep fighting the war in my head against myself which means i'll create situations due to how i treat myself and the energy i put out into the world listen let me help you understand something hmm. i'm not letting up every time I feel called to put out a video. That's exactly what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really into the numbers. But it's real easy to get caught up in that. You know what I'm saying? Can't lie. I'm human. You know what I'm saying? But I, I the, the greatest feeling is the person that y'all not seeing on camera. <laughs> that had the ability to push through the barriers. You know what I'm saying? Jump over the hurdles. Grab a hold of what i've been searching for my whole life which was the other side of me you know what i'm saying that i couldn't find because i was too busy trying to absorb everybody else's energy and and do what everybody else wanted me to do and be who everybody seen me to be so that i could fit in because i needed validation from other people just to be who i am i don't need that anymore i don't need it from no one you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep pushing. Every day I wake up is giving me the wisdom that I need to know that no matter what, despite the barriers, the barriers are put there on purpose to help you elevate. It's what makes you stronger. You cannot be in the light without the dark. You cannot have peace without the war. You cannot, you feel me, see the water without the fire, baby. But just imagine how oftentimes people either don't have the other part or they're just stuck in the fire or they're too busy stuck in the water. Fire creates animals, killers, evil people. Water creates depression, low self-worth. 
undervalued homelessness you know what i'm saying and once you figure out how to merge them two together you now have the ability to have the fire and the water which means listen i'm 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 understanding compassionate and a ton of empathy but the moment you come undermining me and making me feel less than i'm gonna turn that shit off so fast and i'm gonna hit you with that fire don't come to me trying to you feel me pinpoint this and that because i'm gonna get on your ass Excuse my language, especially if you think you're under an umbrella and an illusion of life. Never undermine anybody. Never think less of anybody because you just never know. You know what I'm saying? That person going to walk off with, like a dog with a tail in between your legs. Yeah, because you tried to come from the, for the wrong one. You know what I'm saying? It's real. People are just blind to, to their own life circumstances. You know what I'm saying? They never want to realize what is really hurting them. For real, straight up. And I had to. I'm a prime candidate for understanding and realizing what was really hurting me, which was a lot of the times the people around me, which caused me to hurt myself. So listen, I, these videos ain't going to stop. I'm not letting up, baby. I'm giving it to y'all. You feel me? Exactly how I see it. Every day that I have the ability to fight whatever it is I'm going up against, every day is a psychological battle within myself. You know what I'm saying? To keep the beast tamed. But again... It was almost as if some certain people are not allowed to be able to cross over to the dark side no matter how much they try because they will be uncontrollable lethal weapons to themselves and everybody around them. And and that's not that wouldn't be pretty. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta really understand and know that boy, listen, it's a battle. It's a battle to be able to truly work on yourself, to be able to pinpoint when people are not good for you. Because we live in a world where people put on a mask. Listen, physically, physically, nobody has done <laughs> absolutely nothing to me. Oh, wait. Well, maybe like one person. But spiritually, everybody was shooting me with them Macs, them, them Ninas and them 9mm and them Tommies. They was taking headshots at me spiritually. So to be able to spiritually put the armor on and deflect that bad energy out of my auric field is the most powerful thing you can do. Because that's the real game of life. Not this one they portray to us. It is the people that spiritually attack you. That your life goes in a certain direction. Not even realizing that the two are dictating your life. You have chaos up here, you're going to have chaos in your life. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? You have peace up here, you're going to have peace in your life doesn't is it listen you you're not gonna be told how the journey's gonna be it's not gonna be mapped out to you how it's gonna go you just gotta be willing to be brave enough to go through it and most people ain't willing to fight that war because they too busy trying to put on an image and be something that everybody wants them to be you know what i'm saying and that's the road that everybody goes down we didn't already been through this already when are we gonna stop nobody has the balls to actually stop it so listen take a detour go on the road let's travel that's designed by you it's unpredictable you don't know what's gonna happen but the more you the one taste you get of it you gonna want some more it's like the best meal you ever had that you keep requesting it over and over again you know what i'm saying listen <laughs> i love it i love shooting at the opposition it's fun it's like target practice, you feel me, at, at at like an arcade, you know what I'm saying, where you play with them little, I, I haven't been around, I don't play with guns, I don't play with those, you feel me, but again, be very mindful, it is another way to become a sharpshooter assassin in the mind, to where you don't have to physically do nothing, you know what I'm saying, but figure this out, which is not being taught anywhere. It's something that you have to pick up and learn as you go through life. And the more better you get at it, the stronger you become inside yourself, that life paves its own way for itself. You don't have to work hard. You don't have to chase nothing. You don't have to do nothing. But just be yourself. And everything will work out exactly how it's supposed to. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's unpredictable. And you got to think as humans in life, we oftentimes overthink and want to predict things if we do this this gonna happen if we do this this is gonna happen if we are uh, no 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 
That's how you stay trapped in your demons. Get out of them and take the road where it's unpredictable. You're going to have a whole lot more fun and you're going to be a whole lot more case chaos free to where you ain't going to have no reasons to depend on nothing or nobody else but yourself. It's lovely. Grass is greener on that side when you brave your own road. So listen, if you don't know what it is, I just told you. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe because I'm firing off these videos today and every day after. Just go hard or go home. And we ain't letting up on the gas.